What has NASA found on the icy moon Europa that has researchers around the world in a tizzy? Could Jupiter's moon actually harbor the first sign of extraterrestrial life in our solar system? Europa has always been considered one of the most exciting places in our cosmic neighborhood, and recent discoveries are fueling hopes of finding life here. But what do the latest investigations tell us about this moon's hidden ocean? Is it really possible that life pulsates in its depths? Join us on this fascinating expedition to Europa as we uncover the mystery of this extraordinary satellite. Jupiter's Moon, Europa Jupiter's moon, Europa, was discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610 and is the smallest of the gas giant's four large Galilean moons. At about 3,100 kilometers in diameter, Europa is about the size of our Earth's moon. Its surface is covered by a thick ice shell, under which researchers suspect an ocean of liquid water. Measurements of the Galileo probe have shown that this ocean could contain more than twice as much water as all oceans of the Earth combined. In addition to its icy surface, the moon Europa is characterized by complex networks of cracks and lines. Scientists are fascinated by these phenomena because they indicate living structures on the moon, and they are most likely caused by intense geological activity. The first detailed images of Europa came from the Voyager space probes in the late 1970s. In the 1990s and 2000s, the Galileo spacecraft revealed more details about this fascinating moon. Europa surprised in many ways. Despite its broken and discolored appearance, scientists discovered that this moon is the smoothest and firmest object in the solar system. The highest peaks are only a few hundred meters high on this celestial body, and large craters are rare. The smoothness indicates that the surface of the moon is still young. This could be because the moon itself is very young, or the surface renewed itself at some point in the moon's history. Moons in the solar system usually have an even more eventful history than that of the planets. As small bodies, they either formed around the planets or were once small planetoids themselves that became attached to larger planets during the evolution of our solar system. The Europa surface structure is probably only tens of millions of years old, not billions, as is the case with most other moons. Somehow the ice on Europa was renewed and quickly smoothed. Scientists suspect that the moon is constantly building a new surface from the inside out. Whether only the water and ice are relatively young, or the entire moon, is not yet unknown. It would also be conceivable that Europa did not always harbor so much water. That much water could also have arrived on the moon through a collision with a comet and then formed what we know today as Europa's surface. What do the lines and patches reveal? What goes on beneath Europa's icy and mysterious surface? Scientists would love to have an answer to these questions. NASA's planned Europa Clipper mission will finally provide those answers in just a few years. The goal of the mission is to learn more about Europa's ocean and the possibility of life in it. This image from the Galileo spacecraft shows several strange spots that researchers describe as freckle-like features. In technical terms, they are called lenticuli. These spots are about 10 kilometers in diameter, and many are smooth domes. Some are tangled pits, and some appear to have a reddish-brown hue. They are related to the frozen landscape. That much is clear, but the exact formation cannot be explained geologically at this time. The size and shape of these spots suggest that warmer ice is rising through the colder ice of Europa's outer crust, much like magma chambers in the Earth's crust. This process would be similar to a lava lamp. The smooth, dark patches may have formed as the warmer, rising ice erupted through the surface. The jumbled-looking, rough lenticules of small, broken ones most likely formed from fragments of the crust. If you look closely, the tops of the dome-shaped structures resemble the surrounding surface, suggesting that they formed when the crust was pushed up, but just didn't break, as with the darker patches. Recent studies say these mysterious features may lie above vast lakes of liquid water completely enclosed in Europa's icy outer shell. These new findings became possible in part because very similar phenomena have been discovered on Earth. In Antarctica, quite a few bodies of water have been discovered under the ice over the past several decades that are similarly trapped. Europa's fractured outer shell consists mainly of water frozen as hard as granite and about 25 kilometers thick. The lakes are embedded like bubbles in this thick layer of ice. At the moment, 
It is still unclear why liquid water forms in chambers under the ice. Probably thermal processes or possible influences of Jupiter's magnetic field are responsible for this phenomenon. The lakes are probably not the only water reservoirs in Europa's depths. Beneath the thick layer of ice, scientists have found evidence of a vast underground salty ocean. But more on that in a moment. Europa's Lineae Europa's most striking feature is its dark, crisscrossing linear fractures and ridges called lineae, which means lines in Latin. What caused these cracks is still a mystery. Possible explanations include weak spots in Jupiter's ice crust that are affected by Jupiter's gravity and the other Galilean moons. Europa is cyclically stretched and squeezed by Jupiter's gravity and then released. This stretching and stretching is what scientists call tidal flexion, and very likely this effect is responsible for the violent fractures and ridges that form the lines. Tidal reflections are also likely the reason for the warmth in Europa's interior. Scientists found that some of the longest lineae, nevertheless, cannot be explained by the effects of tidal reflection. Rather, the track lines indicate that Europa additionally has a surface that moves independently of Jupiter's gravity. It is the warmth inside the moon that has scientists convinced that there must be a liquid ocean beneath Europa's cold surface. If it corroborates that some lineae can only be explained by a layer of liquid between the moon's crust and rocky mantle, the evidence that there is an ocean on Europa also thickens. As seen in this image, the cracks are not deep, gaping gaps, but appear to be filled with a dark material. Scientists also consider this to be evidence of an ocean. The cracks could have been filled by material from the ocean. Traces of Microorganisms on Europa Further evidence of Europa's secret ocean came from measurements taken by the Galileo probe. During its multiple flybys, the orbiter found that Jupiter's powerful magnetic field shows an anomaly where Europa is located. This disturbance suggests that a special kind of magnetic field is being generated deep inside the icy moon, and scientists think this magnetic field is due to the movement of a salty, conductive ocean beneath Europa's ice crust. Salt water is an excellent electrical conductor. If it moves in a magnetic field, it can create a secondary magnetic field. In October 2021, researchers from Sweden revealed more discoveries based on data from the Hubble Space Telescope. Water vapor was identified on one of the moon's hemispheres. This finding also strengthens the theory that a vast ocean exists beneath Europa's icy surface that may harbor life. Previous studies had already detected water vapor on Europa, likely from impressive plumes of water erupting from the ice and shooting more than 60 miles in the air. The latest observations suggest that the water ice on Europa goes directly from a solid to a vapor state without first becoming liquid. Although there are quite a few icy moons, ice volcanism and geysers on the moons in the solar system, the water cycles on Europa, are most likely unique. If there really is a liquid ocean of salt water hiding inside, or if there are lakes of fresh water, simple life could occur on Europa. While conditions on the moon are in no way comparable to Earth due to its proximity to Jupiter and its extreme magnetic forces, life does occur in the strangest places, which is exactly what our home planet proves time and again. Whether deep under the ice of Antarctica, in toxic and hot thermal springs, in complete darkness, or in freezing cold, microorganisms and bacteria have the fantastic ability to adapt to extremes and find a habitat almost anywhere there is moisture. So why shouldn't this be the case in Europa? According to current knowledge, it's more likely to find life on Europa and perhaps on other icy moons in the system than to find no life there at all. With drills and submarines in space. When it comes to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos and finally finding the first traces of life beyond Earth, there are almost no limits to human enthusiasm and inventiveness. Currently, there are dozens of plans to send drills, submersible probes, and small exploration submarines to moons like Europa and other moons in the solar system. For now, the moons are still the great unknowns within the solar system. Since the discovery of large amounts of water, also on moons like Enceladus and Ganymede, these celestial bodies have become the focus of science. Now, one could ask, why the effort? In science, it's still assumed that answering questions such as, how did life originate? Or, are we the only life forms in space? 
is significant for the evolution of our species. Once we have found the principle of how life originates and spreads, it could also help us find other advanced life forms in space. Drills are currently being tested in the Arctic and Antarctic by several specialized companies that are designed to withstand the extreme conditions on the moons and are also lightweight so that they can be transported into space at low cost. The drilling systems must operate fully automatically and work their way several kilometers deep into the ice without maintenance or human operation. Equipped with small probes and cameras, these drills are expected to soon unlock the secrets of the icy moons. If suspicions are confirmed and the drilling mission encounters water, there are plans to deploy a mini-submarine to explore vast oceans beneath the surface of the moon. If these missions show the first images of life on a celestial body other than Earth in a few years, the cheers on Earth would most likely be great. How would it be for you? Would you also be happy if you saw a photo of a life form from another celestial body for the first time? Or is this form of life rather boring to you? And it would have to be rather whole alien cities and spaceships to inspire you. Tell us now in the comments.